nothing else to do but just keep going, so that's what we're going to do. Lake. Still morning. It's uh, about 11:30. Got dropped off, so thank you to my uncle Bruce and Cooper and I are out here for a little rip down the Spanish River. Pretty excited about it. First real trip of the year. Finally back out on the water. Current and tailwind it looks like so far. So looking forward to just getting out and paddling and moving again. I've never seen so many dragonflies as I'm seeing today, ever. As dragonflies, damselflies, whatever they are, there are so many of them. Wild. Savannah Rapids. There's nothing. Cooper, stop. It is literally just a trickle of water coming through here. This makes me really nervous for what we're going to get downstream. Because there's a lot of rapids to get through. That is insane how low that is. This is crazy. Normally what is right here is a river flowing in and a significant amount of water. And it is absolutely bone dry. There is not even a trickle of water coming down. I'll spin around so you can see it. But right here, that's the riverbed. I was gonna try fishing right here, thinking the outflow of water might bring some fish in, but that is insane. I can't believe that. We have to go through the drive road rapids and the Bredner Swifts, uh, which are, I, I'd say, easily two kilometers. Uh, fast water and it shouldn't be a problem but not much water so it's going to be a bump and a grind and a slog getting down there we'll see okay this is just stupidity nowhere to maneuver. It's so shallow.
be the campsite up here on the right. That looks half decent. Okay. mosquitoes buzzing around but not too bad so far down let's get a fire going and get some water boiling and while the water's coming to a boil I'll set the tent up here Uh, way bigger than I have need for out here. sausage. These are smoked, so actually don't need cooked, but I'm going to warm them up anyway. Hard to believe that it's quarter to 10. And that's the kind of light we're dealing with out here. Beautiful night. Anyway, thanks for coming along. Thanks for sticking around. And we're gonna see you in the morning.
be nice to have a little more water. That right there is the west branch. There's the east. So they flow together here, and hopefully that gives us a little more water to flow down because this is just bump and grind, bump and grind the whole way down. It's a gorgeous day again, though. Can't complain about the weather, that's for sure. So beautiful out here. fast things can come off the rails. I didn't even see that one at the bottom. It's kind of just coasting, thinking, oh yeah, you got this. Sure you do. Uh, Cliff Rapids as you can see that's why it's named Cliff Rapids so we're gonna try and negotiate our way down here and then there's a campsite there's a couple we can choose from at the bottom oh it's a good day Tent is up. We've got this dry, rocky, sandy beach behind me. 
Oh, I'm starving, so I just, I have my little stove with me, so I'm just gonna fire up some water. I'm too hungry. I'm gonna have something to eat, and then, I don't know, I have to go for a swim or something before I go to bed. It's a beautiful day on the river. I'm just gonna lay here, I'm gonna read for a little while until I can't keep my eyes open anymore, and then it'll be bedtime. Good couple days, lots of sun. Again, I'm not used to this. I've been pretty sedentary the last six months, so I'm feeling it. It's good to be back though. All right, catch up with you later. You ready? You can see the clouds behind me. It looks like it's gonna rain. It feels like it could rain. There must be a lot of beavers around here because they were going crazy last night. Like there's one just slapping the water, maybe more than one, again and again and again last night. Right in front of camp, I guess. They could smell me. Man, they didn't like it anyway. It didn't help me to sleep. Every 30 seconds, a beaver slapping his tail. It's just beautiful out this morning. There's hardly a breath of wind, but there's no bugs. Sun's come out, the clouds have cleared. Just what I needed, right? Hey, look at my face. A little more sun. Just looking down zigzag rapids here. And I think there's a line to get through. It's so rocky. It's a bump and grind no matter what. It's just so shallow here. I'd rather try and run it than portage, so that's what we're gonna do. Zig and then we zag. All right, we got a little drop to go down here. And it looks like there's a rock in it. approaching the elbow and the river really fans out right here. There's all these little braids and channels. And trying to pick the right one is moving difficult. A couple of 
couple hundred meters more and it starts to come back together, but I'm gonna have to get out here. Just approaching the first set of graveyard rapids. So I'm gonna pull it on this little island in the middle. There's two sections here. This drops down through the first set, and then there's a big long pool, a few hundred yards, and then there's a more significant drop. And just take a quick scout of this. It actually doesn't look too bad, although there's some really big rocks in there. I think it's too shallow to run. I'm not that confident that I can get the canoe through all that. So, oh, there's some rain coming down. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Hopefully it's just gonna pass over. I don't think it's gonna amount to much. But I'm gonna line the canoe down it. So we'll see how that goes. This is big graveyard rapids. You can hear me over the wind and the water. I'm gonna take a closer look. I think I wanna try and line it if I can. Scrambling here between rapids trying to get the camera set up again. GoPro died two seconds into this one. It's actually not too bad. I'll say that, get her up.
if you can even hear me on there. Looks like this rain's just gonna blow over. The sun's already coming out behind me. Not like it would really matter. I'm pretty much soaked from the waist down all day today, so. just can't make up its mind. It's going every which direction. It's blowing all the clouds out. There's not a cloud in the sky now and it's absolutely gorgeous. We've got about 20 kilometers left to go. Debating whether we're going to even camp tonight. Maybe we might just paddle back to the lodge. It may involve doing a little bit of paddling in the dark, which I'm not opposed to. You know, I have a light I can put on the boat if I need to. And I have a headlamp. But, I don't know. Just, I don't feel like stopping. I can't really explain why. I just, I don't feel like setting up camp. I don't, I'm happy to be in the boat paddling. I'm feeling okay. My back's feeling all right. Just playing it by ear and enjoying the beautiful sunshine and gorgeous weather. Just munching on a little gorp. To be honest, it's mostly cashews and M&M's. But anyways, my style of gorp. Yeah, we've been paddling now for almost 14 hours. So that's a good day. They don't call it Eagle Rock for nothing. I think those are falcons actually. Well, there's a bit of wind on the big lake. So I'm just gonna hug the eastern shore of the lake. Made it back in, went on the lee side of some of the islands and that turned out okay, but there was a couple stretches there where it was pretty, the wind kicked up and it was pretty sketchy. Pretty wavy and well, we're back. Hope you liked the trip. Drop a comment, let me know what you think. We'll see you on the next one. Thanks.